Just a quick comparison of the old Radio Shack calculator with a reasonably current Canon printing calculator that I picked up. Um, this one has an impact picture, right, using um, ink sponges, I think, it has its ink source. Prints in two colors. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there, so the, the, uh, you can see if your negatives are um, red, as one would expect on a financial calculator. This does taxes and stuff. This is actually pretty useful. <laughs> um, and this one, but it doesn't have a lot of, you know, there's no square root key. This one has a square root key. This one's more of a, you know, enhanced four banger kind of calculator from the era, which is the early 80s, with a printing function. It does have the rounding function that you'd expect. It's got the number function, you know, it kind of goes across, right? And uh, it gives you the totalizer, totalizer, I guess. It's interesting what they've chosen to do and not do over the years. Um, obviously, this has gone bigger. I might have a look inside just to see what the mechanism looks like in a current one. This is impact. They both use, you know, AA batteries. This uses three, this uses four. So I decided I couldn't help myself and had to have a look inside this Canon printing calculator just so I could see how it looks like compared to the old Radio Shack one. I'm going to take the back off and have a quick look, and then I will bring you back and we can see inside it. Okay, and here we are. Um, there's not much to see here, as I expected. We have the battery pack wire. We have three screws that held it together. And irritatingly, of course, in current electronics, a series of clips. But these were comparatively easy to remove. The printer is made by Citizen which is quite funny given that Canon is so well known as a, uh, as a printer company. There's the printer. It's connected to this little header here. The keyboard's on the other side. The chip is a blob. And we've got a fairly chunky capacitor, presumably helps to protect from the printer's draw and a smaller one here. Apart from that, series of diodes. I expect there's some transistors here to control the printer. There's a crystal. I believe there's actually a clock in this calculator, or at least a partial one, maybe. I don't know. But that's it. Not much at all. The real question is whether there would be a um, some sort of general purpose microcontroller in here, and possibly a controller chip for the printer, but it's clear that it's all handled by a single chip. And I expect there's nothing on the other side but the, uh, but the uh, keypad. I'm not gonna take the chance of taking it out to find out. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy a little quick teardown of this. You can see how much simpler it is in some regards than the other calculator. Of course, they've got a little bit more space to work with too in this larger body. Well, if you like these sorts of videos and each little quick look inside kind of videos or the longer repair videos, I post these when I have something that seems interesting to have a look at. And I tend to post larger repair videos weekly or so, depending on what I have that I'm playing with at the time.